There's a terrific post at National View Online at Bench Memos by Ed Whalen, a friend of mine. Look what he caught writing today. Listen to this. This is fascinating. He says, the timing of the frivolous motion by the Proposition 8 plaintiffs, remember, they're the plaintiffs pushing for same-sex marriage, despite the Proposition 8 vote by the people of California. So the pro-same-sex marriage forces. The timing of the frivolous motion by them to vacate the stay pending appeal of the case from the lower court to the circuit court also reasonably invites suspicions that the Obama administration was colluding with them. Now follow this. He says, from what I can tell, the text of Attorney General Holder's letter announcing the Obama administration's decision to abandon the defense of the Defense of Marriage Act apparently became publicly available somewhere around 12.30 p.m. Eastern Time last Wednesday. The Proposition 8 plaintiffs, the pro-same-sex marriage litigants, filed their motion, according to the electronic notice issued by the Ninth Circuit, at 9.56 a.m. Pacific Time or 12.56 p.m. Eastern Time. Somehow, Proposition 8 plaintiffs were able to quote from Holder's letter in their motion and include a copy of the letter as an attachment to their motion. More broadly, it is reasonable to suspect that advance notice of the Obama administration's decision helped spare the Proposition 8 plaintiffs' decision to file their motion. In other words, they're tipped off and they get a copy of Holder's letter because it's almost impossible to put all that together in 26 minutes and have it filed with the circuit court. That's his point. He says, I'm not contending there's anything in principle that's improper about the Obama administration working confidentially with its allies. But the administration continues to pretend implausibly that Obama doesn't support same-sex marriage. It therefore ought to be noteworthy if, as certainly appears to be the case, his administration was working behind the scenes to assist the same-sex marriage plaintiffs against Proposition 8. Obama does support same-sex marriage. He's a coward. He doesn't come out and say it. Instead, he directs his Justice Department to sabotage a litigation in which it is supposed to be defending a statute signed by Bill Clinton and passed overwhelmingly by Republicans and Democrats in 1996. Then they work behind the scenes to tip off the litigants, the plaintiffs, challenging... The uh, same-sex marriage ban voted on by the people of California. And what do you know? In 26 minutes' time, they file their brief, frivolous, asking the circuit court to lift the stay, in other words, to allow same-sex marriages to go on while the case hasn't been heard yet by that circuit. They just happen to have a copy of the letter and the information, and they apply it to their frivolous stay request. Let me tell you how your government really works. This is going on in every damn federal agency in the government. These agencies spit out regulations after regulations. And I'm going to tell you something. They're working with their left wing every step of the way. The Environmental Protection Agency. Do you know your Environmental Protection Agency actually encourages these flat earth, no growth, Marxist environmental groups to file lawsuits against them? It's true. They want these left-wing socialist groups to file lawsuits against the EPA. And then you know what they do many times? They come to out-of-court agreements, out-of-court settlements, to change their policies rather than to continue the litigation. In other words, we, the American people, aren't represented by anybody. It's an inside game. Groups are encouraged to bring lawsuits all over the country involving all kinds of things that affect you, whether it's energy or property rights, and whether it's uh, fisheries, and farmers, and drilling, or what have you. Same with the Interior Department. And then the lawyers for these departments, they or administration, they step in. Okay, okay, I don't think we can win this anyway, and they cut their deal. See, the Defense of Marriage Act... You want to know the truth that you're not going to hear from any other host because they didn't practice at justice like I did? They didn't practice at Interior? Oh, you didn't know I was the number two lawyer at Interior for a while. Deputy solicitor. The truth is these left-wing lawyers in the bowels of the bureaucracy are trying to make these deals all the time. What you saw in the Defense of Marriage Act was one of those deals at a heightened level on a very important issue. But this stuff's going on in the bowels 
endlessly. So the government and these left-wing groups, in many respects, are one and the same. How many times have I said the Democrat Party and the government are inextricably linked? In many respects, they're one and the same. They need each other to survive, to grow, to prosper. That's why we, conservatives, we hold up the Constitution and say, no, you can't do that, and they, they say, yes, they can. Who's going to stop them? Because they use the levers of government, the instrumentalities of government, to impose their will on us. More and more through administrative fiat, more and more through judicial fiat. So yes, they're working with their buddies behind the scenes, whether it is the Defense of Marriage Act, whether it is the challenge on Prop 8, whether it is Arizona's immigration law, whether it is the health care law, whether it's the Defense of Marriage Act. They're trying to fix the litigation. That's what they're doing. It is sleazy. It's diabolical. And those are the two best words I have to describe this administration and the left.